up. Yeah, a lot of the kingfish, Roy. Yep. Oh, sweat, man. Yeah, first calf, first calf, first calf, coach. Yeah, buddy, give him the boat, give him the boat, give him the boat. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about, right there! 40 pounds. Just under 40, 39 pounds. Twist the wire four or five times. Get a nice twist on it. You want to hold right at the very end of the twist, bend the wire 90 degrees, take the wire and you want to twist it around three or four more times to lock off the wire knot so it doesn't unravel. You want to cut right down on that wire so there's none exposed. We get our stinger hook set up by taking the wire through, it's going to be the same type of knot. And you take your stinger wire. Get your hook to hang down flat, come up through the loop of the wire, not the loop of the hook. Bring it through. You want your stinger hook four to six inches away from the main hook, depending on the size of the bait you use. You want your stinger hook to go right into the very tail of your bait. So depending on the size of your bait is how long you need to make your stinger rig. You take it. How big are those baits? Bend it to another twist knot in the wire. This big? There you have your hook with your stinger rig on it. Attach your hook hangs free there. Your stinger's hooked directly to your wire again. And we take about that much of a leader, say 18 to 24 inches. Go ahead, bend the wire over hard. Put a little kink in her right there. And we're going to attach our monofilament to our wire leader without using a snap swivel so the line lays flat in the water. We've taken our wire and bent it into a U. Take your mono, put it through your wire like that. You're going to take it and hold it up here. And you're going to wrap the mono around the two pieces of wire that you have now as you bent over. wrap it five or six times and then you come back up through the same way you came out put a little lube on it pull it up tight I use the main hook hook the thread pin through the nose right in front of the eye socket and you bring the stinger hook back lay it flat see where it's gonna lay get it all nice and straight then you can take your hook and come back a little bit get it up underneath the scale and hook it flat Dig that hook in there a little bit. So now the fish will lay flat in the water like that with a stinger hook in his mid back so when the fish comes and grabs it and goes to take off, he gets hooked. And we'll just take it and flatline it right out into our chum slick we've created. We've been chumming for about an hour now before we even tried throwing a line in the water. Just chopping up little chunks right here and then start throwing them out. Little by little, and get some right, get some kingfish and anything else that's in the area in a frenzy. Now, if you don't have, you know, frozen valley, who got any alternatives you can start using? If you uh, catch fish, you're going out the next day. The carcasses, um, save the carcasses, chop them down to little tiny pieces with a knife, a little PlayStation like this. As you're doing it, just toss them out here and there with the chum bag out. Manhattan is really good. And um, gets everything into a frenzy and go do bottom fish and kingfish and everything at one time. We always want to throw them with the current going against the boat, so when it goes underneath the boat, it sinks down in the water. And then you keep the sea going off you so they can't get the chunks. We're anchored up in about 65 feet of water on top of a reef down in the Keys. 
And we just take the rod and just kind of flatline it out nice and slowly. And that thread pin out there is just kind of floating around, fluttering in the water column, probably 15 to 20 feet down. We just sit here and only let out. The fish will start. We'll grab it, start to run here in a second. So far, I probably have 30 yards of line out. We'll go ahead and continue to let it all the way out until we get almost down to the very end of the school. And if we haven't caught anything, we'll go ahead and reel back in, check our bait, make sure our hooks are sitting our bait right. Go ahead and let it back out and do the same thing right again. Usually it doesn't get more than 100 yards away from the boat before it gets hit. He's right here, he's right here. Give me the boat, give me the boat, give me the boat. Nice! Right. Can I get my hook out? Nice! Give me some more of them guys. That's chunk and bait right there. Yeah. Chunk and chum. Go down a bit, Poot? Huh? Down. Oh. We barely hooked. Alright. For more videos like this, go to sunsentinel.com.